www.mwadithmwadha.com as we continue on here with our series on WTB. Remember, this is just a random stock that I picked trading in the London Stock Exchange. You can find any stock anywhere on the globe, any trading instrument. It could be currencies, commodities, stocks, ETFs. It doesn't matter. The interpretation tends to be the same across the board. In this video, let's take a look at 38.2 on the RSI. And of course, we know that this is relative or has a relationship with 61.8. Add the two numbers, end up with 100. So the Fibonacci number here is what we're going to be looking at this time, 38.2. All right, let's do it. Let's draw a line at about 38.2. Should be somewhere around there. And keep in mind, this is approximate. It's not exactly, but tends to be around that number. Now, a couple of observations. Here we can see the stock drop below 38.2, which is somewhere here at about 1,000, and stayed below 38.2 until, let's say, somewhere here at the beginning of 09 or towards mid-09. Price here was at about... 800. So while the stock was below 38.2 on the monthly RSI, we can see that the price did drop from here and ultimately recovered back above 38.2 here. In other words, avoiding stocks trading below 38.2 is not a bad idea, especially if you see other reasons not to own the stock because they tend to be bearish. Now, something else you can appreciate here is take a look at the bottoming process here. Looks like a double bottom. In fact, if you draw a line splitting this in half, right there, that bottoming process, you can see there's equal distance and space as the stock moved below 38.2. In other words, what the stock was doing below 38.2 We're talking about this period here. Is it went below 38.2 and did something like this? So, so what I'm saying is you can split this in half and you can see that there's equal space and time and distance between the two. That's uniform activity. Check the description for a link about uniform activity and symmetrical action and how you can use that. And you can see that once it recovers back above 38.2, it records a major low. In fact, let's just take all that stuff out, draw the line again. You can see that once it recaptured back above 38.2, that's a major low. Stock hasn't looked back since. In the recent months, Going back to about 2016, store back that line again at 38.2. Without any type of adjustment, you can see here we bounce with a double bottom support at that threshold number. And as of right now, the stock has been stabilizing at the lows here and here and is higher since then. One thing I failed to mention earlier was if you take a look at the breakout here, this trend breakout, just like we saw with the previous video, this trend breakout on the RSI, again, happens to be with the RSI moving above 38.2. So this period here, this breakout also corresponds with this nice bounce of the lows and a movement higher. And one can also see that that corresponded with a trend line in price. So both of them, RSI moving above 38.2 and price moving above a trend line is good enough or was good enough for this to recover. Again, check the description for a link on what I call the uniformity method, which is also in play here. And that line also happens to be again at 38.2, this breakout. 
on hindsight we can use that information so this entry was good for the stock that's what the stock is telling us it went on a nice amazing run over the next couple of years it's come back years later to test that level which is what I call the uniformity line and we see that it has bounced with uniform activity hence the name uniformity or symmetry it has bounced here again for the lows here and here and just like we saw here during the lows the lows here and the price lows there in the current market what the RSI needs to do is continue holding above this line here that also corresponds with another move of a trend line after finding support at 38.2 so that is encouraging for those who are long the price also will need to move above this trend line just like it did here in 09 so right now still a question mark but for the most part having found support based on the uniformity method the monthly chart looks okay for now showing stability if anything eric muado with muado.com as always good luck peace and blessings e a c s Woo.